Good morning, friends of Mindy and Lucky. We're gonna do some more work on the cat attack today, myself and my lovely assistant, Erin, <laughs> who's hiding in the corner of the camera. So we're gonna figure out how to attach these cat tunnels together. When two of them meet, they need to be supported on the bottom by one of these splices that'll get screwed into the bottom of each. And they're also gonna be suspended by cables that come up the outside of the cage and go to a hanging from a cable from the ceiling and we're also going to put these spreaders across the top so that the cables stay the same distance apart at the top as they do at the bottom and don't, don't push the cage in. So we've got some templates we're going to make for, the, for cutting the right curve on the top of the spreaders and the splices. And then we're going to drill all the holes. And then at some point we'll have to paint them too. So that might be your job. <laughs> so that's it for today. Okay, so we finished cutting the spreaders that are going to go at the top of the cat tunnels. They keep the cables the same distance apart. And uh, so my lovely assistant, Erin, did all the drilling in the drill press for all the holes on these and all the holes on the splices. I just haven't cut these, rounded these edges yet. But all the spreaders are done. Uh, they're all cut. The corners are rounded. The holes are drilled. Now all I have to do is paint them. So we're going to do that now, and then we'll deal with the splices probably tomorrow. So That's we're it. working on the splices and the spreaders for the cat tunnels. So these are all the splices. These are again what the two cat tunnels rest on when they meet. It's got holes in here for the cables and then Aaron did a great job sanding out edges so it has a nice round edge because this is the part that's sticking out and it'll be about face height. So we're just going to line all these up. We're getting ready to paint all of them and then these up here in front, these are the spreaders that keep the cable separated at the top at the same uh, distance. So uh, these have been painted on one side already, but we're going to paint the other side. So they're all lined up and we're getting ready to paint this whole table. So we finally got all the splices and the spreaders painted and they're all rounded and everything. And uh, I'm going to show you how those go together. This is one of the cat tunnels. And the splices will go with the bottom, like this one here. This isn't attached yet, but they'll get screwed in from the bottom. And then the other, uh, the next cat tunnel will join up with it and get attached on the other side. And then this spreader right here, all this does is keep the wire at the same dimension. So this goes outside the, the, uh, the top of the tunnel. And then this wire, this is just 1 8 inch galvanized wire. It comes up through the splice, around the outside of the cage, through the spreader on both sides, and then it'll get uh, clamped together at the top, and this is what'll hang these uh, cat tunnels. So that's how this works, and I'm glad all this part is done, and we can move on to the next phase. 